Good morning. It's um, 8 o'clock. I set my alarm for 7 and I pressed snooze a couple of times and took my time getting up because it's Sunday and I can do that. So I'm going to do this workout. It's just fire 30 so it'll be pretty quick. I stop and listen because I think I hear my daughter. I'm just gonna do this 30 minute workout, get it done really quick. Okay, see you guys. In okay, guys, fire 30 is done. I'm just about to do stretch 10 now. I burned 326 um, calories in that 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna do stretch 10. And stretch 10 is done. Um, I burned 407 calories in total between fire 30 and stretch 10. And uh, that means week 10 of Turbo Fire is officially done, which means I just have week 11 and week 12 left, just two weeks. But like I say, the last week is, um, like, it's basically just one more week because week 12 is, like, there's two rest days and there's two days that are just stretch. So there's really only three workouts that week. My daughter's up for sure now. I thought I was hearing her before I started my workout, but then I don't think I was. I think I was just hearing things because then I didn't hear her until, like, just right now. Well, when there's like a couple of minutes left to stretch. It's okay. She likes to wake up and like play by herself for a bit. Cause like last Saturday morning I heard her awake and I opened the door and she looks at me and she goes, no mommy, two minutes. Let's go see what she's doing, okay? What are you doing? What are you doing? Good morning. Oh, <gasps> puppy. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah, and no poo-poo. And no poo-poo, that's good. Do you have to go pee on the potty? Mm. Yeah, I think you do. Can you say good morning, everybody? Okay. Say good morning to the camera. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, breakfast this morning is my chocolate protein oats with um, an eighth of a cup of that uh, chocolate cocoa love crunch granola that I got yesterday. Okay guys, my husband and daughter went to go visit my father-in-law and uh, so I was like, okay, because I have my final exam for my organizational behavior class coming up next Saturday, less than a week, and I have this last case study that I still haven't submitted yet. I'm pretty much done it, I just have to, you know, proofread and edit it and all that sort of stuff and I think I need to add like a... A conclusion, like a closing paragraph. But anyway, so that was what uh, that's what I'm gonna do while they're gone. But they've already been gone for like an hour, and I've been cleaning. <laughs> so now I'm finally sitting down to study. I'm going to get this. I have to get this case study submitted today. So I gotta stop wasting time, and I have to just do it. So I'm a little disappointed. I just realized that I did all that cleaning and I was like even thinking to myself while I was cleaning, I was like, oh my god, I'm getting so many steps on my Fitbit right now. I wasn't even freaking wearing it. Ah. So I just put it back on now. So I just wanted to share with you a little rant. Okay guys, so I'm just making my lunches now for the week. Um, and so I'm just going to show you guys how I d dice an onion. Because, um... People seem to find it really interesting how I dice onions, so I'm going to show it to you guys in case if you haven't seen this method before, it's really like the best way. And now I have a video bomb. Video bomber. Okay, okay. so I'm going to show you guys. So, where should I put you? Right here. That seems like a good spot. Here's my onion. This is a massive onion. Way. So over here I have my nifty little garbage bowl, which I got the idea off Rachel Ray. Um, that's um, the marina is all from my peppers. Whoops. No, I got it. Cause I just cut up all my peppers. But anyway, so I cut the end, the one end off first. And then, so that it sits flat, so I cut that end off, and then I cut it in half. So I'll cut this off and see. And then 
going to take half of it. I'm going to take the smaller half. That's all I need. So then you just take half and you peel back the skin. There. Okay. So you hold it at this end and then first you want to cut it this way. just about to the end but not quite see I'm still leaving a little bit there so it's still attached and depending on how thick this half of your onion is you can cut it and how small you want to dice it you can cut it probably two or three maybe even four times so then now that that's done now I'm going to cut it like this this bowl to move and this knife I have too much stuff so you just cut it like this a few times depending on again on how big you want it diced so then if you can see see it's cut across there now so then you cut it like this <laughs> Try not to cut yourself or get onion so all over the floor call like an me. ambulance because we're using the phone to record. <laughs> and that's that. And then you have a perfectly diced onion. I'm really not a natural cook. I try. So here's all my peppers and my onions diced up, cut up, ready to go. Um, in here is three green peppers that were like about this big. They weren't very big. And then there is one really big red pepper, one really big yellow pepper in here. So these are all ready to go. I'm just waiting for my chicken to finish defrosting, and then I'm going to cut that up, and then that'll be good to go. So I just have the coconut oil heating up in the pan, and then I'm going to put the chicken in, season it, and cook the chicken up. Okay, now while the vegetables are cooking, I am measuring out my chicken. So I'm going to give myself three ounces for each... Um, for each lunch. And there's my four lunches for this week. Um, I only need four because we have a lunch meeting tomorrow. So I only need for Tuesday to Friday. And there they are. Okay guys, uh, day 17 of plank month is done. <gasps> Two minutes and 50 seconds. That was a toughie. I'm very, very nervous because I feel like I'm just about at my mat. Like, I'm scared because I'm like, I feel like, like, you know, I think around the two minute mark, like a few days ago, I had said to you guys, like, I was feeling like, you know, I definitely could have kept going for a little bit longer and stuff. But now I'm feeling like, oh my God, I'm going to collapse to the ground. <laughs> Thank God the time is up. And so I'm like really, really nervous. <laughs> For like tomorrow's three minutes, three minute plank. Oh my god, I don't even know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm sure as heck gonna try my best. Okay, guys, so my mom just forwarded me the email about uh, the night race. <laughs> um, there was there's this night race that we have in Calgary. I don't know how many years it's gone on for or whatever, but I remember it went on last year, and. Uh, I didn't find out about it till like afterwards, but I was like, man, I want to do that because it's not like, it starts at like nine o'clock at night and you get like a little, little headlight to wear on your head and stuff. And so I'm like, that would be so much fun. So anyways, and then a friend of mine was like, yeah, I'll do that with you. And my husband's like, yeah, I'm going to do that with you. But he's all like, yeah, we're going to do 10K. And so I'm like, oh, okay. So anyways, I'm so excited because they just, they just released the details now and forwarded me the email. And, uh. They just released the details. So it's going to be on August 17th. And yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I just asked my friend if she would want to do 10K too. Because I'm like, we have lots of time to get ready for it. I'm so nervous about committing to 10K. But there's lots of time. So yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Because I'm so excited. Look at these awesome shoes that my mom got me when she was in Houston. And they even... They're called Shocks Turbo.
Turbo. Like Turbo Fire. I think they're meant to be. Aren't they awesome looking? I can't wait to wear them in my workout tomorrow. Dinner tonight is steak fajitas.